बात करेंगे इंटरनल वर्किंग ऑफ एसमा सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द इंटरव्यू एवरी इंटरव्यूअर दे विल आस्क यू कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन मी हाउ इंटरनल वर्क विल हैपन वेन हैजमा टू वी हैव क्रिएटेड ओके सो दे विल डेफिनेटली आस्क मी लाइक व्हाट इज द इंटरनल वर्किंग ऑफ हैज मैप व्हाट इज द इंटरनल वर्किंग ऑफ मैप माइट बी दे विल आस्क लाइक दैट क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट लाइक हाउ एग्जैक्टली वाई वी आर क्रिएटिंग एनी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द हैज मैप और ट्री मैप और लिंक हैज मैप हाउ दे आर वर्किंग how they are storing the data and how they are uh, uh, like storing the data like with the put method with the get method how they are fetching the data how a structure will look like internally so everything we are going to discuss in this video so this video is very very important okay <clears throat> let's uh, start now so we will see how the hash map get and put method work internally okay this is the first thing what uh, what operations are the perform how the hashing is done so i hope i just now you don't know what is the hashing but we can understand what is the hashing also and how we can calculate the hashing also how the value is passed by the key okay how the key value pair is stored and how hash map contains an array of nodes so hash map is basically containing the array of the nodes internally and node can represent a class having the following object <coughs> okay so the what are the nodes we have created so the nodes as a given like a int a has key value and next node so those are the field of the class you can say and uh, this is the hashing value key value and your next node so now we will see how the its work and first we will see the uh, hashing process let's go further so here if you see what is the hashing so hashing is a process of uh, converting an object into the integer form okay by using the hash code methods okay by using the hash code method it is necessary to write the hash code method properly for the better performance so right now whatever the code we have done we have not write any of the hash code methods for that okay so by default whatever the hash code is there they will apply and they will generate it internally the hash code for the default hash code but we can generate our own hash code for improving the operations or time complexity of our hash uh, uh, like whatever the hash mapping we are implementing those okay so it's a necessary to write okay method properly for the better performance of the hash map here i am talking taking the key of my class so that i can override the hash code method to show the different scenario my key classes <coughs> sorry <coughs> now we can discuss about what is bucket so we understood what is the hashing so hashing is nothing but uh, hash code method implementation and bucket is nothing but uh, a bucket is an element of the hash map array it is used to store the <coughs> whatever the objects we have okay <coughs> let me go back two or more nodes can have the same bucket in the same case a like a link list uh, structure is used to connect the nodes buckets are the different in the capacity so this line is very important if the two uh, nodes are in the same index the link structure is used to connect uh, those nodes buckets are the different in the capacity a relations between the bucket and capacity as a follow <coughs> so this is the capacity we are calculating of the bucket so what is the numbers of the buckets and multiply with the load factor so through that we are uh, calculating the uh, what is the capacity of the bucket so let me go to the eclipse and create one class okay <coughs> i will create a class called internal working of hasma internal working of as ma let's create uh, while uh, writing a main methods i will write here hash map <coughs> so previously we have created the hash map object with the help of something like uh, let's me give the integers here and uh, let me give here a string <coughs> okay but the problem is like once you create the hash map okay hash map equal to new hash map <coughs> Yes, ma'am. So here, if you see, let me remove this one and write just control space. So if you see here, the hash map having a different different type of the uh, constructor. You can see. So this is the default parameters, and this is will take one initial capacity parameters. This one will take hash map, okay, and this one will take initial capacity and load factor. And this is the hash map. This is not a constructors, okay. So we have a almost one, two, three, four, four hash map. constructors with the help of we can create our hash map and we can increment or make our performance good of particular hash map 
if you not select of the particular one you have to go with the default one and default one having a default uh, things everything okay so if you go with the default <coughs> let's go with the default so what is the default capacity of your hazmat page 60 and what is the load factors okay so let me write a capacity so default capacity is 16 and load factor FSCTR load factor is nothing but uh, 0 0.75 percent 75 percent is you can say okay this is the load factors so what is the capacity capacity means how many size of the bucket your hazmat will be created and load factor means how much your uh, like uh, <clears throat> data will fill inside the hazmat then after it will increment the hazmat size of divided like incremented by the double <clears throat> So every time once your hash map is reached uh, like uh, up to the 70% full that time it will increment by the 2. So now capacity will become uh, with the multiplier with the 16 is 2 is 32. Okay. So right, uh, right now uh, your capacity. So for example, <coughs> for example, uh, initial capacity is 16. Uh, we have uh, stored some data in hash map. Then then capacity will reach or load factor will reach will reach 75 percent just zoom 75 percent then automatically then automatically <coughs> then automatically uh, your uh, link has not capacity will increment capacity will multiply with the two and increment so it will increment internally okay but for example you want to store only one or two values and your uh, link has map is not full so for example let's take some example so this is the by default uh, pro, uh, like uh, the capacity is uh, 16 okay so 16 means if you divide the 16 with the 4 okay it will become uh, <coughs> 4444 four, four. so once you store the four, uh, 14 like uh, 14 element not 14 12 element element that time then capacity will multiply and it will become capacity capacity will become uh, 32 again once you reach 32 of 75 percent it will again multiply and it will become 64 again if you uh, reach the 75 percent of those 64 it will in again increment the size of this one is how much 120 and 128 so it will become 128 256 okay so like that every time it's once it is uh, completed the like for example you have a stored uh, 187 uh, 75 percent value and it's incremented 256 capacity and you don't require that much capacity to store the data okay you don't have that much of the data now so what will happen 120 120 capacity of the data will be unwanted and uh, that is memory is not uh, uh, give the good time complexity or space complexity because we have occupied the memory which is not required for us okay so this is the problem will happen if you go with the default has map okay but if you create the has map with the give some our uh, calculations and you can do it and then after you can create any hash map like how much value i want to store and how i have to increment ca my capacity of particular uh, <coughs> object okay let's go with that one so here you can create a object of the hash map okay has not one you can give a new hash map okay and if you go with the like initial capacity so you can define initial capacity also so better to go with the initial capacity and load factors so initial capacity we can assume okay every time 4 it will change and uh, every time once it is raised to the 25 so only it will do the incremental of the 25 so 0 0.25 you can say okay 0 0.25 Okay, it's saying I cannot uh, interfere the type arguments. Okay, let me do one thing. <coughs> so, has map with the initial capacity, and the initial capacity is nothing but you can pass the initial capacity and uh, load factor. Okay, those data you can pass here. So, what are the load factors? 
so integer and float so this is the integer so i have taken 4 and this is the float so you can say like uh, 0 0.25 and f if you write so this will represent as a floating point value not in the percentage and you can represent is and you can create your good efficient hash map and in that also you can store so whenever your hash map capacity is incremented uh, like uh, fulfilled with the 25 percent it will uh, do the uh, next like whatever the uh, multiply with the four so it will become eight otherwise you can two, uh, take this one is two okay every time two so once it is fulfilled you can increment it okay so you have to write some logic for that and this is the very very important questions if interviewer ask you how you can make your hash map is a good efficient and how we can reduce the time complexity and space complexity in your project while using a hash map so you have to tell only two things which is one is using the capacity and load factor so we can use the capacity of our hash map and we can use the load factor of the hash map through that we can increase the efficiency and we can reduce the time complexity and space complexity of our project so this is the right answer okay i hope you understood guys let's go to the slide <coughs> and hashing as of now we have not discussed so hashing means like uh, implementing the hash code bucket we understood capacity will calculate the number of the buckets so right now number is bucket 16 and load factor is 0 0.24 so we can give an index calculation of the hash map so this is the formula for the calculating the index so whenever you are trying to store any data into the hash map it will uh, calculate the uh, indexes with that method first it will take the hash code with the key and then it will do n minus 1 so n minus 1 is nothing but it is a capacity which is n minus 1 in the hash map hash code is used to calculate the bucket and therefore calculation in the index so basically hash code and equals method are very important role they are playing for the hash map implementation and internal working so this method is used to check whether two objects are equal or not okay so equals method will check though two objects are equal to or not and hash code will calculate the bucket and therefore calculation in the index okay let's go to the some next slide here you can see create a empty hash map default size of the map is 60 we have already created inserting a new key value pair putting the key value pair in the above hash map is something like that so bisal and 20 if you are trying to put okay so let's go and put uh, bisal okay so let me uh, do one thing like uh, change this to a string and this one we can change to the integers and i don't want this one so i have written just for the awareness purpose and we have created the hash map with the default size is 16 and now i'm going to put some data inside this so hash map dot put so once you put some data bevo yeah bisal so and here we can give something value one two three okay so what will happen this value is stored inside the hash map but how we don't able to see right now how it will store okay what is the structure of hash map how it's look like okay so it will what will happen is once you try to call the put method it will take this value which is v what is the ascii value of the v so here you can see the whatever the step it's required i have written so first it will calculate the hash code of the key so what is the key is visal so visal first letter it will take character it will be generated as 180 so v ascii value which is a small v ascii value is 180 okay and then after it's calculating the index by using the method will be six so how we are calculating the index value so if you go to the back slide this is the hash code we have generated which is uh, one uh, let me check 180 and then after it will replace with the 118 with the hash code and then after n minus one so what is the n n is a capacity which is 16 minus one so it will become 50 so 118 and end if you do it will uh, <coughs> with the help of the 15 it will generate the index value is nothing but 6 so once it is generated the 6 this is the index value where we have to store our object which is this one visal 20 so create a node object so it will create one node object using this field int has key and value are next okay and once field is created please this ob uh, place this object at index number 6 if no other object is present there okay you can see here this is the diagram you can see so if you create any hash map so by default it will create one hash map with the default size is 16 okay and indexing will be start with the 0 so it will go up to the 15 and right now it will store only 0 0 0 which is null value okay if you try to store any of the data for example we have tried to store first time visal 
So based on index value we have calculated. So based on the index only it will store in that particular index value. And this is the value and this is the null value because next node is not connected as of now. And this is the hashing value. Okay, so I have shown you already in the previous. This is the value we are storing as a one object which is key. So int has key value and next. So if you see here, so this is the key which is hashing and uh, this is the key value and note next one so we have stored our object inside this okay so one object is created if any other object is not stored in that place okay now let's go to this uh, step number third so it's saying like uh, we'll repeat the again in the case of the collisions so repeat the step number two a step two will repeat again in case of the collision now putting other pairs at its place object in that star six if no objects are represented here okay again this uh, method will happen again and again again and again in the case if uh, already six index having a one object and you are trying to store once more time uh, once you got the same index point so what will happen is we have make it as a link list node so this object address will address will copy inside the node null place and this will link with that object so like that hierarchy it will make and it will store all those objects inside this okay so this is the internal mapping you can go with the slide and try to understand it's a very easy okay and uh, two things you have to remember always okay uh, like what is the hash code what is the equals methods and what is the initial capacity of the hash map what is the load factors and uh, then after you have to understand how we are calculating the capacity how we are finding the index numbers okay so hash code and uh, capacity minus one and hash code and equals methods are very important role playing in the internal working of the hash map and those are the step once you put the value so what are the step it will follow it will take the first ascii value of the particular key and based on that it will find the index number and then after we have stored that number in that particular index so those are the step only we have to follow while getting we have to call the gate so we are passing the index number based on the index number it will face the data and it will match or whatever the key we are passing those value will match or not so based on that hashing and value will be match and it will return the data okay i hope you understood okay this is the some logical questions we have so please try, try to cover it what is the difference between a list and set in java can you please give the example of when should we use hash map okay and the tree map how do you iterate over map in java so those questions you can try to give your own answer if it is not i will definitely give it okay and this is the things you have to remember each and every time okay then only you can crack the interview easily what are the two way to iterate the elements of the collection what is the difference between array list and uh, link list what is the difference between array list vector classes in the collection framework what is the difference between has set has map those things you have to understand each and everything so please try to create a notes and mention all those questions and remember it whatever the questions i have put it here those are not a normal questions that is the interview questions only it's already asked in the interview that's why i have put it here okay so many people are giving the interview they are sharing those experience with me and i can collect collected those questions and i have given to you so that you can also prepare for that and you can easily grab the your job and it's a bit very easy to go with that one okay thank you so much for watching my video we can meet some logical questions with that in the collection thank you